Happy Thursday! Happy weekly update day in GTA Online and welcome back to This Week in GTA. Well, last week was an absolute stinker, wasn't it? Well, I have some good news. This week is a lot better. We have a pretty good week lined up. So let's not waste any time. Let's start off with the podium vehicle like always. This week, it's the Walton L35. This one's normally $1.67 million, so a pretty decent car to have on the podium. It's pretty expensive, so if you don't have it, definitely try and win it this week. Moving down to the prize ride, we have the Pegasi Tempesta. This one's normally $1.329 million, and to win it this week, place top three in an LS Car Meet Series race for three days in a row. Moving into the new content. Now, your guess is as good as mine for this one, but Rockstar is telling us the content we're gonna be getting next week. And that's going to be the new Assault on ATT-16 Adversary Mode. So that's not coming this week, but next week. So basically, there's going to be two teams, I believe, fighting on one of the aircraft carriers. And it's going to work in a similar way to the Assault on Cayo Perico Adversary Mode that we got last year. Moving into the discounts. We don't have too many discounts this week. Starting off with a property discount. Feels like it's been a long time since we've had one of those. We've got 30% off all nightclubs, including the upgrades and modifications for them as well. The nightclub, of course, is one of the best businesses in the entire game, so if you don't have one, definitely, definitely get one this week. For your vehicle discounts this week, we have the Thrax, down from 2.325 million to 1.627. That one's in Legendary Motorsport, as well as the Festival Bus, down from 1.385 million to just under $1 million. You can get that one in Southern San Andreas Super Autos. And that's it for the vehicle discounts. Only two, but we kind of make up for it with the bonus money, which we'll get to in one second. First, we have to talk about the gun van discounts, though. Everyone's going to get 40% off the sweeper shotgun, and GTA Plus members get 40% off the combat shotgun. All right, for the bonus money this week, for triple money in RP, we have community series jobs. Pretty standard. We normally get that every couple of weeks. Moving into the double money, now we have double times production speed for your nightclub warehouse. So you're going to get your nightclub goods twice as fast this this week that's going to be awesome that's pretty much double money but you won't actually get double the money you'll just get product twice as fast if that makes sense either way it's still a great bonus definitely make use of your nightclub this week now for the double money itself we have double money on the nightclub safe so you're going to get one hundred thousand dollars every 48 minutes from the safe this week that is awesome and we also have double money in rp on nightclub goods missions what that means no that doesn't mean the sell missions, like I just said before. That means the Johan missions are going to be double money this week. So, you know, when you call up Johan, you can go out and get some additional goods for your nightclub. Yeah, that's going to pay you double money. For your weekly challenge this week, if you complete three nightclub management missions, you're going to get $100,000, as well as the Black SC Ornate T. Moving into the dealerships, in Simeon's this week, we have five removed vehicles. Those are the Landstalker XL, the Grotty Stinger, the Canis Seminole Frontier, the Albany Alpha, and the Western Wolfsbane. In Luxury Autos, we have the Canis Castigator, as well as the Dominator FX that was released a couple of weeks ago. And in the LS Car Meet, we have the Karuma, that's not the armored version, just the normal version, as well as the Previon and the Emperor Vector. And your premium test ride is the Pinot La Caru. Moving into your salvage yard robberies this week, good news, we have a claimable vehicle. That's going to be the Visa Neo, which is this week's top range vehicle that you can get from the Gangbanger robbery. It's also going to have a Los Venturas license plate, so you can keep that if you steal the vehicle. Just make sure you don't change the license plate once you actually claim it, because I don't think you can get the Los Venturas plate back. We've also got the cargo ship robbery with the ZR350 as well as the McTony robbery with the Willard Eudora. Finishing off with your time trials, like always, your normal time trial is Elboro Heights, your HSW time trial is East Vinewood, and your premium race is Business Trip. So there we go, a much better week than last week in my opinion. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more stuff like this, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Boys! Since I was in the seventh grade, seventh grade. Had my first kid, I was only six